everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm doing an Inktober drawing. Um, I'm using Winsor Newton Black India ink with my Deleter Manga Dip pen, a Pentel pocket brush pen, a Uniball Signo Broad in white, and I'm also using a Secura Micron pen in 005. So that's all my materials out of the way. Um, I'm also using a regular pencil and eraser because I feel like that's okay. You know, some people do just go straight ink, but I like to do a sketch first. <laughs> it just makes me feel better. But I just kind of wanted to talk about Inktober and what I'm drawing and it as a challenge itself and just stuff like that. So first off, I think Inktober is a great idea. I've never done Inktober before. Um, I've actually never done like a 30 day drawing challenge or this one is 31 days. Um, but if you don't know, Inktober was created by Jake Parker as a way for him to get better with inks. And I think that's really cool. Because some people are lacking in a certain medium, and if you use it for 30 days, you're bound to improve somehow. So, I think it was a wonderful idea. Some people decide to do it digitally. There was a big controversy about that last year. I personally think that you shouldn't do it digitally. I mean, if you want to, you can. It's your drawing challenge. No one can tell you, like, oh, you're not allowed to draw that way. But I think the purpose of it is, use, is to use inks. Not, like, I wouldn't do Inktober with, like, markers or you know, like charcoal. It's it's Inktober, so I use inks, you know, that's that's kind of how I do it. Um, but yeah, anyways, kind of out of the way, I'm not trying to start a controversy or anything, um, as if that could even happen on such a small channel. But doing this challenge has kind of pushed me to think outside of the box, um, even though I'm only six days in. This is day six, the prompt is drooling. Um, it was kind of interesting because I never draw my chibi people with their mouths, like I just don't, I don't do it. So it was just kind of weird to do that for once, but it wasn't bad. Like I was going to draw like a dog or maybe a zombie because, you know, I didn't want to draw my chibi person with a mouth because I never draw them with mouths. I thought like, oh, it's going to mess up my whole style, but styles shouldn't constrict you. They should only like allow you to just express yourself the way you normally would. So I decided to heck with it. You know, I'm going to draw them with a mouth. You know, it's fine if I do that sometimes and it's fine if I don't sometimes. So yeah, and I try to make this girl look really cutesy and stuff. She's drooling because she's thinking about Halloween candy and most people with a sweet tooth can relate to this, <laughs> you know, and I tried to make her really cute by having her like big bouncy hair and like very just like round things like her eyelashes are round, her little hairpins round, her eyebrows are round, um, stuff like that. And it's just been really fun trying to do Inktober. It's not very stressful, I, I'd say. Because I'm doing little drawings, you know, this is a very small sketchbook. It's uh, a Dale Rowney sketchbook. I'm not sure, like, what type it is. It's just, like, regular. It was five bucks at Walmart, so I got it. Um, and, of course, this paper isn't the best for ink, like, if you were to do washes. But for just regular line art, I think it's fine. It doesn't bleed through too bad. So, yeah, that's why I'm using it. But to push yourself to draw for 30 days, it's going to make you improve. Because with quality over quantity that makes sense for a lot of things it does but quantity can produce quality you know you may start off you know with a new style you developed you know this one isn't super new for me but it's newer and you can start off not really knowing how you want to do stuff and like I've never drawn someone looking up so that was kind of interesting for me to develop how that would look and by the end of the 30 days you're going to really have that style down or say you want to get better at drawing animals, you know, if you draw for 31 days and you only draw animals for 31 days, that's 31 animal drawings you did in a month. You know, you're going to see improvement with how you do your anatomy and all that kind of stuff. Like, say you don't draw men very often. Say you decide to draw men for the full 30 days, you know. You can do prompts that aren't just the official prompts. I'm doing the official prompts because since it was created by Jake Parker and it's kind of his challenge, I just decided to go by that since it's my first year doing it. I didn't want to branch off too much. Um, so yeah, that's the reason I'm doing that. But a lot of people do their own prompt lists or other people's prompt lists. And it's just, it's really fun to see everyone's creativity. And posting daily, because, you know, with the Inktober Challenge, you're supposed to post it onto Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or Amino or something like that. You know, you're just supposed to post it somehow. And with posting that, you're going to gain a little bit more traction from people. I noticed that my first... Inktober drawing got a lot of traction and then it's kind of been going down 
And I wonder if that is either just because that's how the algorithm is, but I think it's because since everyone is posting daily, it's kind of overrun. But, oh well, it's no big deal. But yeah, I really do love the Inktober challenge. I think it's a great thing to challenge yourself to draw for so many days, and I think it's just fun in general to see everyone's creativity. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!